Words You Should Avoid, Chapter 9, Get and Got. So, what's the problem with the words get and got? The words get and got often sound informal. In addition, they are also broad terms that lack specificity. And as a result of that, they can make you sound inarticulate. Let's take a look at some examples. The Hawkins basketball team got a state championship. Now, what is wrong with got in this situation? It lacks specificity, and as a result, it undermines the effort and skill required to secure a championship. So, what can we say instead? Well, instead of the Hawkins basketball team got a state championship, you can say that they earned a state championship or that they won a state championship. And this will make it clear as to the effort and skill required to achieve that goal. Other examples, we might say that none of the characters in Stranger Things got COVID-19. But instead of got, we can say that none of the characters contracted COVID-19. Steve got a promotion at the ice cream shop. Again, that undermines the work that's involved in securing a promotion. So you could instead say that Steve earned a promotion at the ice cream shop. Or L has got special powers. Well, instead of has got, you can say that L possesses special powers. So in summary, the words get and got are sometimes necessary. However, both often sound informal and lack specificity. As a result, it can make your tone sound too casual or informal. It can often be ambiguous and lack the clarity that you desire, and that in turn can make you sound inarticulate. Thus, you should always consider other word choices to ensure that your writing is clear and concise. I hope that was both helpful and clear. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.